For almost 50 years, NASA's Voyager 1, the most distant object made by humans, has captured the attention of people worldwide. Voyager 1 has sent messages since its launch, sending back key information from the most distant spots in space, growing what we know about the universe. But lately, the spacecraft's strange issues have arisen with transmissions confusing scientists. Numerous discussions have been sparked by these odd signals, making scientists wonder if they're just simple glitches or signs of something stranger, maybe even from aliens. Let's look into these puzzling signals and possible dangers within space. The need to learn what's out in space has always driven exploration. This curiosity led two big missions like Pioneer 10 and 11, which were some of the riskiest missions back then. On August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 took off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center, kicking off a huge shift in space exploration. Soon after, on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 launched, heading on a path that would take it to the outer planets, modifying its orbit and its effects. Each spacecraft, about the size of a small car and weighing approximately 721 kilograms, went in different directions at various speeds. On December 15, 1977, Voyager 1 surpassed its twin in distance due to their distinct routes. Since then, Voyager 1 has been super helpful in growing what we know about the universe, giving us insights that have altered our perception of space. Before we look at some recent discoveries, let's check out some of its earlier achievements. In 1979, about 265 million kilometers from Earth, Voyager 1 took detailed pictures of Jupiter. By January, the spacecraft had observed for 100 hours and created a time-lapse video showing Jupiter spinning. This series of 3,750 pictures gave us amazing views of details and a crazy atmosphere on Jupiter. During this mission, the spacecraft found a ring around Jupiter that no one knew about and discovered to new moons, expanding our understanding of the gas giant system. To keep it safe and avoid hitting Titan, one of Saturn's moons, the spacecraft made direction corrections. Then, the mission aimed beyond the solar system's planets, sending the spacecraft toward interstellar space at an incredible 325 million km per year. In January 1990, Voyager 1 started its mission to explore interstellar space, going beyond the universe as a whole. During this period, the spacecraft accomplished several milestones, including locating for additional moons Mimas, Enceladus, Tethys, and Rhea, and taking some iconic pictures of the solar system's exterior regions. On Thursday, February 14, 1990, 6 billion kilometers from the Sun, Voyager 1 took its famous family portrait, snapping cool photos of the inner planets, these 60 pictures joined the spacecraft's collection, which also included hundreds from its flyovers of the gas giants. Voyager 2 also had some cool achievements during its mission. It found wind speeds on Neptune that went over 2,100 km per hour, about 1,300 meters per second, the fastest winds ever recorded in the solar system. It also saw Triton, Neptune's largest moon, where temperatures at its surface dropped to a super-cold minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the solar system's coldest regions. The ice volcanoes on Triton released nitrogen gas and froze chunks up to 5 kilometers high, giving us a new look at the features of the moon. These remarkable finds have really grown what we know about the different and active environments in the solar system's outer areas. Voyager 1 and 2 have done some awesome things. The information they uncovered about Jupiter and Saturn's moons, which no one already knew, was thought to be quiet. These finds changed what we knew about how active these moons are. The Voyager to spacecraft was the first to fly by both Uranus and Neptune, something that hadn't happened before. NASA used various methods to keep these spacecraft going, like shutting down systems that were unnecessary to save power. The mission is expected to continue until the year 2030, when the researchers and engineers who have worked on this amazing mission will conclude their work. The design of Voyager 1 and showcased superior engineering. 
These spacecraft were made to spin slowly, preventing images from becoming blurry as they moved through space. Even prior to reaching the other planets, the spacecraft started sending detailed pictures of Jupiter, showing its famous Great Red Spot, a huge storm that scientists have been interested in for years and whirling clouds. But one of the coolest finds was discovering active volcanoes on Io, Jupiter's moon. The spacecraft's tools found weird signals from the moon, which were later verified by pictures showing tall volcanic plumes and a surface with lots of eruptions. One of Io's volcanoes erupted with a force a thousand times greater than Mount St. Helens, covering an area nearly as big as France. As the spacecraft continued to move, they were eventually powered down to conserve energy prior to beginning their journey into interstellar space. They did not take photographs of Mars or Mercury because of technical issues. NASA later launched other spacecraft like Pioneer 10, New Horizons, and others. On February 17, 1998, Voyager 1 passed Pioneer 10, becoming the farthest spacecraft launched from Earth. However, Voyager 1 kept its trip going for another 14 years before finally entering interstellar space on August 25, 2012. The Voyager missions worked because they used gravity-assisted maneuvers to push the spacecraft to where they needed to go while using less fuel. Instead of merely using their engines, the spacecraft used the pull of the planet's gravity to accelerate. They were able to cover a large amount of ground without running out of fuel. Voyager 1 was getting closer to Jupiter when the planet's huge gravity sped up the spacecraft. Being exact was key to avoiding bad changes in direction or speed. These actions made the spacecraft traverse the solar system and beyond. Voyager 2 utilized gravity assists from Jupiter and Saturn to reach Uranus and Neptune, demonstrating how well this technique functions. Consider the effects these missions have had. Now we need more information about the strange signals that Voyager 1 detected. The Voyager spacecraft continued to operate beyond the solar system's known boundaries, studying Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Voyager 1's time-lapse images clearly captured 10 eruptions on Jupiter, plus located new moons and the ring that surrounds the planet that no one was aware of. These discoveries have greatly expanded what we know about Jupiter's system. Voyager 1, as well as Voyager 2, discovered for new Saturnian moons, Enceladus, Tethys, Dione, and Rhea, and took beautiful pictures of the planet and its rings, revealing new information about its system. The spacecraft's trips to Uranus and Neptune provided important data about their environments and moons, expanding our knowledge of the outer solar system. After their planetary missions, Voyagers 1 and 2 aimed for interstellar space, where they are still gathering information. This research is growing our understanding of the universe beyond our solar system. As we await more details on the strange signals from Voyager 1 and what they mean for how we view the cosmos, the amazing journeys of these spacecraft continue to generate awe and wonder in scientists and space enthusiasts. Their achievements keep expanding our knowledge and pushing beyond the confines of space exploration. The Voyager missions have given us an amazing understanding of the solar system and beyond with iconic pictures and data. These missions also carry a message designed to tell Earth's story to extraterrestrial beings. The Golden Record includes greetings in 55 languages, music from various cultures, and natural sounds like thunder and whale cries. This message, packaged like a bottle in the cosmic ocean, shows that people hope one day intelligent beings beyond our world might find it and understand who we are. Voyager had tools that altered our understanding of space. These included plasma wave detectors, magnetometers, and imaging systems that provided us with important data on space phenomena. Through magnetometers, we gained insight into the magnetic fields of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, showing how these planets and their environments interact. The plasma wave detectors helped us understand how the sun's solar wind behaves and affects planetary atmospheres. The Voyager mission's most innovative feature was measuring the heliosphere boundary, a region containing solar particles and magnetic fields that surrounds our solar system as 
Voyager 1 approached this boundary, it detected a transition from solar wind to the interstellar medium, providing important data about the heliosphere structure and how it shields Earth from cosmic radiation. The spacecraft discovered a distinct boundary known as the termination shock, where the solar wind becomes denser and slower. Beyond this lies the heliopause, where the solar wind interacts with the interstellar medium, creating a complex environment. Voyager 2's journey has also helped us learn about the solar system's outermost regions. Its flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune provided crucial information. Its observations of Uranus's magnetic field, which was skewed in a way that challenged how we thought planetary magnetic fields behaved, led to further investigations of the magnetic fields of other worlds. These discoveries have not only expanded our data but also sparked public interest in space. The stunning pictures of distant planets and the stories behind the spacecraft's missions have inspired many people. The fantastic images of Jupiter's volcanoes and Saturn's rings have become iconic, energizing the next generation of scientists and explorers. As the Voyager missions continue sending back data, studying interstellar space gives us an opportunity to learn how the universe operates. While we focused on the planets in our solar system, studying interstellar space has revealed insights about regions beyond the sun's influence. These areas, once thought to be empty, have demonstrated complexity and phenomena that challenge our scientific models. One of the most fascinating discoveries by the Voyager spacecraft was cosmic rays outside the solar system. These high-energy particles travel through space extremely quickly, providing clues about processes far away in the galaxy. By studying the strength and composition of these cosmic rays, scientists hope to understand what drives distant stellar nurseries and how galactic environments function. As Voyagers 1 and 2 venture further into interstellar space, their instruments monitor the density and movement of the interstellar medium. This material, like gas and dust between stars in a galaxy, interacts with the solar wind in a way that alters the heliosphere shape. As the spacecraft traverse this medium, they provide data that scientists can use to model how matter and energy behave in the space between stars. Besides studying the interstellar medium, the Voyager spacecraft have helped us explore the magnetic fields beyond our solar system. Both Voyagers 1 and 2 have provided in-depth looks at magnetic fields in interstellar space, giving insights into their nature and how they shape the surrounding areas. These discoveries may lead to breakthroughs in understanding how magnetic fields operate in other galaxies and influence cosmic forces across the universe. Studying the solar system's outermost regions and beyond is expanding our understanding of space and inspiring future generations of researchers and engineers. The iconic pictures taken by the Voyager spacecraft, like the pale blue dot image that shows Earth from far away, remind us of our place in the cosmos. The discoveries and images from the spacecraft have profoundly changed our perceptions of our planet and its integration with the universe. These missions have also paved the way for larger space projects in the future. The technology developed during the Voyager missions could enable even more advanced spacecraft to reach the far reaches of space. Efforts to explore exoplanets, search for habitable worlds, and study other star systems are not just dreams, they are goals for future space exploration.